Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I am gonna show you why you are losing hair when you are fasting, and three things you can do to stop losing hair. Because the name of the game of fasting is to amplify your health. And being a healthy individual doesn't mean losing your hair. There is a reason for it. And on this video, I'm gonna show you exactly why. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Welcome, we, we are an amazing community of fasters here. So we hope you find everything that you're looking for. And if you guys love this video, send it out into the world. Let's start creating a movement of fasters. Let's take back our health and we can do that through fasting. So hope you enjoy this one. Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I am going to answer for you guys today one of the most common questions we get. What do I do if I'm getting hair loss as I'm fasting? So what I wanna show you is I came to my whiteboard so I could draw this out for you, and what I wanna show you is that there are three reasons why, okay? So, but before I dive into those reasons, I want you to understand what's happening at a cellular level when you fast. So first thing to know is that when we look at a cell, our cell has some really critical parts to it. It has, we've talked a lot about the mitochondria. The mitochondria give off energy, so that's your healing mechanism. Obviously DNA and the nucleus is where your genes are. Um, and we have these openings that we call receptor sites. Now the receptor sites are really important when it comes to hair loss because the receptor sites are allowing hormones to come in. So if you're, those of you that are having hormonal issues, you need to have this receptor site be nice and open. But when it comes to the hair, receptor sites are also the way that vitamins and minerals get into the cell. And there are seven vitamins and minerals that your hair needs in order for it to not fall out, in order for it to be healthy. And here are the seven. You need vitamin A, B, C, E, you also need iron, selenium, and zinc. So you've gotta not only have a large amount of these receptor sites open and available to be able to bring in the vitamins, but you also have to have the proper amount of vitamin and mineral balance already in your body. Now, one of the challenges we have and what we're seeing with so many resetters is that so many of you guys are mineral deficient. And part of that is because our soils are so bad, especially here in America, the way that our food is being grown, it's being grown in nutrient deficient soils. So just the cup of broccoli that you're eating today doesn't have the same vitamin and mineral content as the cup of broccoli that you had 20 years ago. So you're already coming to the fasting game in some type of mineral deficiency. Go watch my favorite documentary right now is called Kiss the Ground. Go watch it, it explains everything about our soils that you need to know. The second big challenge that we have right now is we're living in the most toxic time in human history. And because of that, these toxins will start to block these receptor sites. When you have toxins blocking like heavy metals or BPA plastics or pesticides or glyphosate, when you have them blocking the receptor sites, it doesn't matter how many minerals or, vi or vitamins you have in your body, they cannot get into the cell. So before you even came to fasting, you had either a deficient, many of you had a deficiency in vitamins, vitamins and minerals, and you had a high toxic load. So you were already, your, these cells were struggling to get these key nutrients into the cell so that you could have great looking hair. You didn't realize that. So now you decided, hey, I'm gonna go fast and fast. And you start fasting. Now, one of the things I tell my academy members all the time is that fasting is like a mirror. Wherever you have a deficiency, it will reveal to you what you need to work on. So if you started fasting and now your hair is falling out, what that mirror is saying to you is that you either have a mineral deficiency or you have something blocking the receptor site and that's not allowing those minerals to get into the cell. So instead of like giving up on fasting, instead of cursing your hair loss, you should, I, what I encourage you to do, and this is, we had long discussions about this in the academy, is what I encourage you to do is realize, oh my gosh, 
This is revealing to me something I need to work on. Now let's talk about the mechanism of fasting and why it now makes your hair fall out. If you have been fasting for a long while, or you love fasting and you're doing a lot of it, and you're going like 17 hours and stimulating autophagy, autophagy is, the, is like turning on the intelligence inside the cell and it allows the cell to clean up and repair itself and make itself more efficient. We love that about autophagy. There are two dark sides to autophagy. One, it will never do anything for heavy metals. It, autophagy only works on organic matter. It doesn't work on synthetic chemicals. Second problem with autophagy is that when you stimulate this intelligence, you also can stimulate something called apoptosis. Apoptosis is where the intelligence in the cell says, hey, guess what? Like this cell is no good. It's gonna be a cancer cell. There's too much to clean up in it. So I'm gonna kill it. And when it kills that cell, what it does is the heavy metals and toxins will redistribute into other cells. Many times they go up into the brain, but they will go to other cells and start blocking the receptor sites of the other cells. So if you have been fasting a long time or you've been fasting and your hair is falling out, what I want you to do is apply three steps. So the first step is let's, let's do low hanging fruit, the easiest thing to do. Up your minerals, up your vitamins. Take a multi, really good multivitamin that has these in it. We do in our, with our academy members, we recommend that they take min when they go into longer fasts. Min by systemic formulas, we'll put a link in my notes so you can figure out and find where that is. So start upping your minerals. That's the easiest thing to do. Okay, if that's not working and you're fasting a lot, then the second thing I want you to do is look at your toxic load. So run a heavy metal test. We do this in my clinic, we've run thousands of them, and you're looking for specifically lead, cadmium, or thallium. These are the hair loss toxins. If you've, if you've run a heavy metal test, go grab that heavy metal test and look and see if you have those three toxins. So if you want to know the heavy metal test we use, just put heavy metal test in the notes and we'll send it to you. So the second thing you can do is look at toxic, your toxic load. The third thing, is you have to remember that it's autophagy that is going to accelerate the hair loss if you have a mineral deficiency and a high toxic load. One of the things we know is that hair loss is more common in people who have thyroid problems. Well, thyroid, the thyroid issues are many times a high toxic load. The thyroid is the canary in the coal mine. So when you hit autophagy over and over and over again, and you have a thyroid problem, again, the mirror is telling you, hey, you might be mineral deficient, you might have toxic, a high toxic load, and if you solve those two problems, guess what also happens? You solve the thyroid problem. We teach this in our toxin reset, so it's, I know it's a little more of an advanced concept, but because we're getting so many people asking us about hair loss, I want to really lay out the different levels in which I want you to think this through. Now, last thing, hang in there with me. Last thing, let's say you love fasting, you're doing amazing with fasting, and you're like, okay, I'm taking a mineral supplement. The other thing you can do that we encourage is you can do more Redmond sea salt. We'll put links in the, in the notes for that. So do more sea salt and you're like, I'm doing all that, but my hair is still falling out. And maybe you've done a detox or maybe you've run a heavy metal load and you're like, but my hair is still falling out. Okay, the third thing you need to do is work on variation. So when we are fasting all the time and we're putting our, our cells in a state of, to of autophagy over and over and over again, we are causing more mineral deficiencies and we're causing more of these heavy metals to go to other cells. So you are actually accelerating the two major problems of the hair loss. So the third thing you're gonna need to do is more variation, a lot more diet variation. We teach this in the academy. This is what our resets are about. We're gonna do a November fat burning reset where I'm gonna show you how to use all different kinds of fa fasting and eating so that you can increase your minerals, lower your toxic load, but also turn yourself into a fat burner. And we're gonna do it right before the holidays, which will be really fun. But that's it. It's, it's, it's not complicated. And I really want you to think this through for yourself because some of you, it may be a mineral deficiency. 
Others of you, it may be that your toxic load is really high. And some of you have just been fasting too much and you need to do more intermittent fasting. You need to have some more feast days. You need to do more variation. So play with those three pieces. Give me feedback. I'd love to know from you guys, is that helpful? Because this is such a common question. If you want to join us in the November Fat Burning Reset, just put November Fat Burning Reset and we'll invite you in. And But I don't want you to give up on fasting. That's what I want you to know is that fasting is amazing. And yet there are little pieces that we have to be aware of as we go to build our fasting lifestyle. So as always, I hope that helps. I hope that answers the question. I hope that was simple. And never give up on yourself because you are a miracle. And what fasting does is it taps into that miracle and it reveals to you some issues that you might need to work on. So hope that helps. <laughs>